I'm so wavy, I'm so wavy, I'm so wavy. Yo, what up world? It's your boy Oscar, aka Mr. So Far Gone, coming at you guys with another Pokemon opening video. And in this video, guys, we'll be opening up the Articuno Legendary Battle Deck. It's been a while since I've actually had a pre-built deck like this. The last one I had as a kid was the Kangaskhan Jungle Set one. Um, so I picked this up from Amazon for about $12. It was on sale because it had a small little tear in the front. But other than that, the cards in the front look great. Um, on the back, it shows you a list of all the Pokemon that come in this deck, as well as the cards that you can receive on TCG Online. As well, guys, we'll also be opening up a pack of Sun and Moon just to see if we get anything cool to help us out on TCG. So let's open it up and check the deck. All right, guys. So out of the box, here is the Articuno and the Vaporeon. Hopefully, we can get them out without any issues. Because I know a lot of these promo cards are very hard to get out. The Vaporeon came out perfect. Now it's time for Articuno to come out. I don't want to damage any of these. All right, guys. So out of the box, you get the two Articuno EX cards that were featured in the front, as well as the Vaporeon. The Articunos were a little hard to get out, but I managed to get them out without any severe damage to them. You also get the Team Plasma coin, which is really nice if you don't have one. You also get some damage counters. Sadly, this came out before GXs, so you don't get the GX counter, which isn't a big deal. You also get the placement mat, which is really nice, especially if you don't have one for yourself. It helps you out a lot. And you also get this little pamphlet talking about each of the legendary birds, one featuring Zapdos, Articuno, and in the back is Moltres. There it is. So yeah, so you pretty much get a lot of things with these decks from what I'm seeing. Um, you also get this nice deck box. So let's see what we get inside. Okay, nice. So you get a few holographic energy cards. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight holographic energy cards, which are really nice and beautiful. Let's see what else. We get Eevee, Colrus, another water energy, N, Professor Juniper, a Plasma Energy, Time Pole, Shadow Triad, Verse Seeker, Eevee, Ultra Ball, Palip Toad, Team Plasma Ball, Cold Wrist Machine, Muscle Band, Team Plasma Grunt, Escape Rope, Another Water Energy, Seismic Toad, Skyla, Team Plasma Energy, Time Pole, Glaceon, nice, Bicycle, Another Water Energy, Lysander, Colorus, Kiram, Getsis, I've never seen this card before, so I'm not sure if it's standard anymore, Energy Retrieval, Muscle Band, Seismic Toad, Escape Rope, Professor's Letter, Eevee, Palip Toad, N, Ultra Ball, nice. Team Plasma Grunt, Colrus Machine, Professor Juniper, another Vaporeon, nice. Cryogonal, Team Plasma Ball, Tool Scrapper. I've never seen this card either, so I'm not 100% sure if it's still in play or not. I'll find out once I redeem the thing on TCG Online. Time Pole, Glaceon, Plasma Energy, and another Water Energy. So a lot of these cards look very familiar to me. Um, like I said, I just started playing TCG Online maybe about two months ago, so I'm still pretty new to it. If anybody has any advice, um, feel free to DM me on YouTube and let me know any advice. I also stream TCG Online on Twitch. I'll leave the link for that down below if you guys would like to help me out in any way. Um, so let's open up this pack of Sun and Moon, guys. Let's see what we get. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I want from Sun and Moon anymore. Um, now that Guardians Rising is out, I feel like a lot of decks have changed a lot. So as always, let's pray for some pulls. Let's see what we get.
four from the back. Now let's see what we got, guys. Fingers crossed. All right, so we get a Chin Chow, Tago Tomorrow, Carvana, Picky Pack, Sand Dial, Water Energy, nice to go with the tech, Lima, Hemian, Pokemon Catcher, which is a really good card, another card that I use in my deck. Our Reverse Hollow is a Alolan Diglett, nice, and the rare is Acrobominable, <laughs> not too bad guys. So overall, not too bad guys. We ended up getting two Articuno EX cards from the deck, as well as the eight holographic energy cards. And for 12 bucks, you can't beat that. It comes with a lot of good cards from my understanding. Again, I'm a noob to TCG, so don't hate me guys. But yeah, so I definitely wouldn't mind picking up another one. If I could find the Zapdos or Moltres one, or even one of the newer ones to help me out with TCG Online, I would definitely pick them up. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, also subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm so heavy, I'm so heavy, I'm so heavy, I'm so heavy, my dogs go crazy, oh.